morning boys and girls, I hope you're all okay and I hope you have had a lovely weekend. Right, we'll start our morning with our good morning song. So can you show me your waving hand? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning dear friends, and how do you do? Well done everybody. Right, can you put your hands together for our class prayer? Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you God for everything. Amen. Thank you boys and girls. Right, yesterday it was Sunday. Let me find my rainbow. It was Sunday. Okay, Sunday. Today it's Monday. Monday. My turn. Today is Monday. Your turn. Well done, everybody. Let me, let me put my star there. Today is Monday and today we are going to be looking at a new book and it's one of my all-time favourite books and I'd love to share it with you. So you need to use your listening ears to listen to this wonderful story. You may have heard it before. It's called Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Three bears, shall we count the three bears? One, two, three. And this here must be Goldilocks. Once there were three bears who lived together in a cosy little cottage. Each morning they made yummy scrummy porridge for breakfast. It was the best meal of the day. But one morning baby bear said, ouch, this porridge is hot, hot, hot. Let's take a walk before breakfast and give it time to cool, said Mummy Bear. And so they did. No sooner had the bears left than someone peeked through the window. Someone with bright golden hair. Who could it be? That's right. Her name was Goldilocks and she was a very cheeky little girl. Goldilocks tapped, tapped, tapped on the door. Hello, she called. Hello. But when no answer came, she pushed the door open and crept inside to explore. That's not the right thing to do, is it? What a delicious smell. Goldilocks tiptoed into the kitchen and saw three bowls of yummy, scrummy porridge on the table. Let's count. One, two, three. She slurped Daddy Bear's porridge, but it was too lumpy. She sipped Mummy Bear's porridge, but it was too sweet. Then she tasted Baby Bear's porridge. It was just right. So she ate it all up. Goldilocks was very full. So she looked around for somewhere to sit. There in the living room were three magnificent chairs. Shall we count them? One, two, three. She tried Daddy Bear's chair, but it was too hard. She squished into Mummy Bear's chair, but it was too soft. Then she rocked in Baby Bear's chair, it was just right. Wee! cried Goldilocks. She rocked and rocked faster and faster until... <gasps> Crash! Went the chair and broke into a hundred pieces. Oopsie! giggled Goldilocks. Hmm, do you think Goldilocks is a kind little girl? She was having so much fun. I wonder what's upstairs, she said. Up in the bedroom 
there were three wonderful beds. Shall we count them? One, two, three. Goldilocks jumped on Daddy's Bear's bed, but it was too squeaky. She bounced on Mummy Bear's bed, but it was too squashy. Then she hopped to Baby Bear's bed. It was just right. <coughs> Snored Goldilocks. She had fallen fast asleep. But as Goldilocks slept on, the three bears came home. They were very, very hungry. And when they opened the door, Somebody's been eating my porridge, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, rumbled Mummy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, cried Baby Bear. And now it's all gone. And before Mummy Bear could make some more porridge, they heard a loud roar coming from the sitting room. Someone's been sitting in my chair growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, rumbled Mummy Bear, rushing over. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Baby Bear, and now it's broken. Oh dear, I think Baby Bear's feeling very sad. But before Daddy Bear could fix the chair, they all heard a noise coming from above. One after the other, the three bears crept. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, rumbled Mummy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Baby Bear. And she's still here. Yikes, she shrieked. Three very hungry bears were staring down at her. Goldilocks leapt up and dashed down the stairs and bumped into the kitchen table. Smack! The bowls of porridge flew up, up, up and the gooey porridge fell splat onto her golden hair. Ooh! Yelped Goldilocks. The last of three bears sold of Goldilocks was heard dashing down the path, leaving a very sticky, sticky trail of porridge behind her. Someone's covered in yummy scrummy porridge, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's covered in licky sticky honey, tutted Mummy Bear. Can we have toast for breakfast instead? said Baby Bear. And so they did. I hope you I hope you enjoyed that story boys and girls. It is one of my favorites. I love reading this story with Oliver. So what I'd like you to do this morning is with your puppets. Let me see if I've got mine. You have got Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear, Baby Bear and Goldilocks. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to have a go if you can, if you've got some safety scissors, is to cut them out. If not, you could ask a grown-up or a bigger brother or sister to help you. Can you cut them out? And could you retell the story? When you have done that, your mummies and daddies could send me a picture of you doing it or a video. That would be lovely to see. Or your mummies and daddies just uh, could write me a message just to let me know how you've got on. Okay. It's been uh, lovely to read you a story, boys and girls, and I will see you at 11 o'clock.